The atomic bomb is one of the most powerful forces on Earth. The atomic beam is one of the most powerful flashlights on Earth. Hi, I'm Hunter Ellis, and this is Atomic Beam USA, the ultra-bright, tough-grade flashlight that features tactical technology used by U.S. Special Forces. We have dropped it hundreds of feet from this helicopter. It hits the tarmac, and it's still working. That's what I call a tough flashlight. So today, we have something a little different than what I usually post on this channel. I was watching TV about a week ago, and I came across this video. I, I usually get pretty cringy about some things. I usually can't handle it. So this video that I have today, this video is gonna be a little interesting. Let's take a look at it. The atomic bomb is one of the most powerful forces on Earth. The atomic beam is one of the most powerful flashlights on Earth. So I don't know, um, but they probably could have come up with something maybe a little better you know, the sun. So I think it's really, I think it's really good that they picked the, um, an atomic bomb to really kind of get the point across that it's bright. Let's, let's keep watching. It gets worse. Hi, I'm Hunter Ellis and this is Atomic Beam USA. Like who's the, who's the guy kidding? He's walking up and he's like, he's like, hi, hi, I'm Hunter Ellis. Hi, hi, this is the atomic flashlight. The ultra bright, tough grade flashlight that features tactical technology used by US Special Forces. This flashlight has a feeble 125 lux output. I really like that they use the nice, um, like good wording for this. It's got a feeble 125 lux. Oh, it's, oh look, that's, that's so feeble. Oh my goodness, you can barely see it, it's so feeble. It's like an old, it's like an old grandma. It's feeble, oh man. The Atomic Beam USA has up to 5,000 lux. That's 40 times more. It's tough enough to withstand this 36 ton fire truck. They, they roll this thing over with like a, like a fire truck, but like I'm pretty sure any like small steel flashlight is gonna be able to do that. Like my phone can get ran over by something like that because it's solid and dense. I mean, the only time that a flashlight wouldn't be able to get run over by a truck is if it was like plastic and like from the dollar store anyway. We're gonna drop it hundreds of feet from this helicopter. It hits the tarmac and it's still working. That's what I call a tough flashlight. Oh, oh man. Oh, it just dropped off. Oh, that's what I call a tough flashlight. Heavy downpours, mud puddles, even extreme temperatures like boiling hot oil. Okay, so this is where it starts to get, you know, a little, a little weird. How, how did it end up in the, in the boiling oil? Were you like, were you like working at McDonald's and the lights went out? She were like, you're like, oh man, oh, I'm, I'm glad I brought my really nice, you know, Atomic Beam USA flashlight because now I can, now I can continue working. But like, honestly, that's such a rare occasion. Like, who's gonna, who's gonna drop their flashlight in boiling oil? What's the, what's the point they're trying to get across here? Even idiots can use this? Yo, yo, even idiots can use this flashlight. You can even have your idiot friend drop it in boiling oil and it'll still work. This is idiot proof, man. In frozen solid in a block of ice are no match. All right, first off, like I'm getting out of there. Like there is no way I'm gonna be outside in cold enough temperature where I'm gonna need a flashlight and gonna drop it into like some frozen lake. There's no way that I'm gonna be out there. So like, you don't need this flashlight. Like this is like a stinking like dollar store flashlight. I mean, it's got like nine LEDs or whatever, you know, it works. I mean, it's, it might be a feeble 125 lux, but like it does what I ask it to. Who needs this product is what I'm just trying to say. This next part really gets me. I can smash it with all my strength. And it keeps shining bright. Did you hear that? Did you hear that noise? That's a fake noise. That that they played that over top of the thing. Like they're trying to make it seem so much more impressive than it actually is. But it's not. It's a piece of steel. And the guy didn't even like he just broke the top block. Chances are is those cinder blocks were like meant to break. You know, like they were the fake cinder blocks or whatever that they have on like for sets or like movies and stuff. Its strobe feature makes it a powerful self-defense tool. Disorient attackers and protect yourself with the Atomic Beam USA. So obviously this is faked. No one's gonna sit there with like an IMAX camera and wait for like this chick to get robbed, obviously. But a strobe light is gonna protect you from getting robbed. Oh snap, oh my goodness. Oh, oh you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna mug me now, are you? Ooh, you're scared. You just, you can't handle the strobe light. Oh, I'm gonna give you a seizure. Oh man, 
oh, I hope you don't have epilepsy. This is, this is what they should sell at like karate studios and stuff. They should just have a bunch of these flashlights and they should just sell them. Cause that's honestly like, this is probably the best self defense you're ever going to get. It's compact, lightweight, take it anywhere. You know, you're going to need it. Look at how awkward that scene is. She's, she's like, <sighs> with a little flashlight. I mean, it's like a tiny flashlight too. I have like large flashlights. The thing is like solid steel and it's got like three D cell batteries in there. So like if I need to, I could just beat you with it. But like, I'm not gonna shine a light in your eye. I'm not gonna like go all seizure on you and you're gonna walk away. No, I'm gonna have to beat you up. This doesn't make any sense here, man. I don't, none of this is making sense here. In case of emergency, it has an SOS set. I'm glad that um, that in, in this uh, video, I'm glad that she um, was using the flashlight instead of, I don't know, like the, the four-way blinkers that come installed on the car automatically so you don't need this expensive flashlight. Just saying. As a former fighter pilot, I can depend on Atomic Beam USA. You can see it for miles on land, sea, or air. Okay, so that's not that impressive to me, okay? Because listen, there was once a commercial for like Centrum Health or something like that, you know, like the, the um, adult pills or whatever that like, you know, the vitamins or something like that. It was talking about your eyes and how like you can see a single candle from 10 miles away. So like, that's not that impressive that you can see this thing from far away. Cause like your eyes can already see light from far away. You could spend over $100 or the Atomic Beam USA can be yours for just $19.99. Okay, who, who are they kidding? Who are they kidding that's gonna buy a flashlight for $132? You can literally go to like the dollar store down the street and buy like 10 of these for five bucks. You kidding me? You kidding me? You'll also get a lifetime guarantee. If it ever breaks- There they are, there they are with the oil again. Like what, who, when is this gonna happen? They, like if you're buying this flashlight because you, you dropped your last one in some oil, you need, you need more help than just buying a flashlight. Like this flashlight isn't gonna fix your problems if you dropped your last one in oil. And the critical components inside the atomic beam are made right here in the USA. They're made right here in the USA. So instead of some Chinese sweatshop, it's some American sweatshop. That's how you know it's so much better. This isn't made in the USA. This is made in some China. 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 China type thing, right? This is made in China. China. And it still works just as well as this, you know, American made one. But like, you don't need that like bright flashlight. Who's gonna take the time when they're being mugged to like, oh, hold up. Let me take out my flashlight so I can strobe light the mess out of you. Give me a second. And then they dig in their purse so I can flash you. You don't want to flash people, man. Stop flashing people. So, so I guess that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I don't know. Let me know if I'm just overreacting to this. I just kind of just really felt like this was just like over the edge. Like this was over the top. I mean, and there are like more companies that do this. Like it's not just this company. There's like this whole like Tactolite or something like that or whatever it is. They do the same kind of cringy, cheesy commercial that just makes you want to like not buy the flashlight because you're like, oh, I'm not an idiot. I don't drop my flashlight into boiling oil. That's not my problem. I don't need one of those. All I can say is don't flash people. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. No, no.